In this video I'll share how I diagnosed and fixed an issue where the engine wouldn't start and the check engine light was on. The customer came in with these complaints, so I began by confirming the problem myself. Sure enough, the engine wouldn't start. I connected a scan tool to check for trouble codes and found two, P0232, fuel pump secondary circuit high, and P023F, fuel pump secondary circuit open. These codes pointed to a potential issue with the fuel pump or its circuit, so I needed to investigate further. Next, I connected a fuel pressure gauge to the fuel system and measured the pressure while cranking the engine. The fuel pressure wasn't within specifications, confirming there was an issue with fuel delivery. This meant the problem could be the fuel pump itself or something in the circuit. To narrow it down, I disconnected the fuel pump connector and performed a visual inspection of the connector and terminals. Everything looked fine. No corrosion, damage or loose connections. Then, I used a multimeter to check for voltage and ground at the fuel pump while cranking the engine. Both were present, which indicated that the issue wasn't with the wiring or power supply. At this point, I concluded that the fuel pump was faulty and wasn't functioning despite receiving proper power and ground. To fix the issue, I replaced the fuel pump with a new one. After installing it, I cleared the trouble codes and tested the vehicle. The engine started right up and the check engine light stayed off. A few more tests confirmed the repair was successful and the customer's concern didn't return. This case highlights the importance of systematic testing to pinpoint the exact cause of a problem before replacing parts. If you're dealing with similar issues, I hope this video helps you understand how to diagnose and resolve them effectively.